Hello and welcome to the game on Grapevine, your daily piece of gaming toast. Today we're returning to the front line with Medal of Honor. Yes, the classic World War II franchise is making a glorious return to service after three long years of... Sorry, what? It's a reboot? Um, hello and welcome to the game on Grapevine, your daily flock of gaming ducks. Today we're being deployed to Afghanistan with Medal of Honor. Yep, no footage yet, sorry, but we do have this promo pack shot for the newly reimagined Medal of Honor series, which is being modernised and relocated to Afghanistan. According to EA, sometime next year you'll be playing as a Tier 1 operator, basically an elite American soldier. Assumedly, this is him, even if he looks more like he belongs in Grand Theft Auto's The Lost and Damned. EA are putting themselves very much in the firing line with the move, which comes after 10 years of cherished titles set in the Second World War. The Medal of Honor reboot is all very exciting, and our first instincts are to applaud EA for bucking the sequel mania which has dominated 2009. On the other hand, we can't help thinking the move smacks a bit of playing catch-up. It's been maybe 20 minutes now since we last mentioned Modern Warfare 2, so take it away, Shady. Modern Warfare 2 made a massive impact on the games industry, scaring some publishers into delaying their releases and single-handedly punting games prices up by a tenner just because it could. And the knock-on effects clearly aren't stopping there. EA are obviously concerned by the thought of being left behind. Perhaps the relatively lukewarm reception of Call of Duty World at War made EA reconsider their own baby, Maybe conflicts like Afghanistan are simply more relevant to the new generation of 18 plus gamers. Either way, with the modernisation of one of its most iconic franchises, World War II games are clearly a dying breed. So what do you think? Should World War II titles still be gaming staples, or are you happy to have them confined to history? Comments as ever below please, I like having something to read after lunch. That's all from us for now though, more gaming news soon.